What's up, everyone? Welcome to Game Tangent Goes Retro. Uh, we got a special treat for you today. This is the uh, Nintendo Super Scope 6. We're going to be checking this out. Uh, my name is Chris Enriquez, aka Hyper Neon. Um, just setting some stuff up here. Um, yeah, so this is the uh, light gun that was made for the Super Nintendo. Uh, it's uh, a thing that I've had in my collection since I was a kid. Um, it's uh, basically a light bazooka. It's very similar to what you remember on the original NES with the, what was called the zapper. And uh, it's actually a little bit more accurate. It uses an infrared sensor on top of the screen, uh, as well as the kind of like screen retracing uh, technology uh, that it uses to kind of capture your X and Y coordinates. So um, I got this all set up and I'll give you a, a quick tour of kind of like what I had to do. I had to get an old school CRT and some other stuff and some special cables, a capture car in order to kind of like capture uh, the footage here. But first I thought I'd maybe kind of walk you through uh, the gun itself because it is kind of a cool thing um, and I haven't gotten to play with it for a really long time so I'm pretty giddy. Uh, so let's see. So it's, it's obviously kind of all gray, very similar to what the Super Nintendo looked like. Uh, just kind of gray and purple scheme, kind of a really weird color scheme. Don't know why they went that way, but it's Nintendo. That's what they do. So on top here, uh, you got a big fire button, uh, you know, big and fat and purple. There's a pause button. Uh, you have the power switch. It has two modes on and turbo. So on is pretty much all you're going to use for super scope. Uh, the turbo button is used pretty much primarily uh, for uh, Yoshi Safari, which is another game I got. Uh, so that's this one here. Um, we'll play that another time. That's actually the, the most fun one. Uh, Super Scope 6 was kind of the packing game that came with the gun. Uh, it's got some fun games. It's pretty basic. Yoshi Safari is just, it's a lot more enjoyable. It's, uh, you know, it's kind of that traditional Nintendo kind of fun there, you know, kind of the usual twist on things. There's a cursor button down here on the bottom. See that? Uh, I really haven't found a use for it yet. It doesn't seem to show up in many games. It's supposed to display a cursor on the screen. Don't know if it actually uh, seems to work in any of the games. Uh, on top of that, you have the um, kind of the scope that you can, it's patchable. You push this on the side, it kind of pops off. Put it on the other side so you can use this kind of left or right handed, which is pretty nice. And that's it. I'll put this to the side kind of real quick. I can show you uh, my setup here. So I'm just kind of turn the camera and leave on my laptop. It's not the greatest setup, but I got it set up and I was pretty excited. So kind of see here, uh, I got the Panasonic TV. This is a CRT I got off Craigslist for $10. Uh, I had a bigger one for, I had a 32 inch that I got for free actually, but it was a behemoth. Uh, it weighed 152 pounds and it was just too cumbersome to really move around. So for now, I just kind of got this set up. I was just kind of testing it out to see if it would work. It does work. And then I got really excited and I wanted to stream, kind of show it off a little bit. So the game is kind of playing here in kind of sort of demo mode. You can see uh, what it, it has this, um, uh, infrared transmitter on that sits on top. Uh, I had some problems with that at first. I didn't realize that it can only work if it's plugged in into player two port. So it wasn't really working. I was actually really distraught because I'd done all this work to set everything up and then went to finally play it wasn't working. So uh, my TV only has a single you know mono audio input. So that's all it's got set up there. There's the Super Nintendo. It's got Super uh, Scope 6 set up. And uh, that's it. It's pretty basic. Got a lot of wires and connectors going over to my capture card, but you guys probably know that. So let's get down to brass tacks and let's try this thing out. Turn around here. I've been sitting on my knees on this. So hopefully this works. I'm a little bit higher up than this screen, so I don't know what this is really going to do. And let me switch over to gameplay. That. You guys can see what's going on, and hopefully this works. It has some issues when it comes to shooting in the corners of the screen, but you know, hopefully, can actually play all right. On, we're gonna shoot in. Go through 
a little kind of adjustment here. It's actually really accurate, kind of what you're aiming at is exactly, you know, kind of where it's going to shoot. Um, it uses the kind of the vertical and horizontal uh, scan line to kind of determine where you're aiming. And then the infrared is what allows the controller to be wireless as opposed to the zapper, the NES zapper, which had to be plugged in. That's kind of nice. And I have found that because I'm uh, sitting closer to the screen, let's try, let's start with flashers. Because I'm sitting closer to the screen, um, it, it kind of loses accuracy. I think it's designed to be played a little bit further back, but for now we'll try this. Hopefully you guys can see okay, kind of what's going on. Let's try, let's try, oh, push the ball. how do I do that? Select, oh. yeah, see it has issues in the corners. Um, select level. I'll just start on low. And we'll do engage mode, why not? Works. All right, I haven't played this one. It's just like whack-a-mole, basically. Uh, yep, I have an issue high up. So, I'm gonna need to actually sit back on the floor, fortunately, in order for it to There we go. It sucks. That's never fun. Well, we passed the stage, even though I'm sitting on the floor. Head. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is off now. Let me recalibrate. Okay. Let's leave the game. I think I'm just gonna reset it because I'm kind of know how to back out of the game actually. You guys are probably gonna lose signal for. Try this again. Good screen. Seth says, may want to shrink your face cam a bit. Right, yeah, it is taking up a bit. Kind of figured because like a bunch of the screen wasn't really drawing, it might be okay. Get the black bars on either side. All right, try this again. And see what happens. Game. Eat sitting on the floor like this. Really annoying. All right, let's try laser laser. That one's a little bit more fun if I remember. And all the kind of the distortion that you're seeing, I think it's showing up in the feed. It looks like it's showing up in the feed. That's actually what I see on my screen as well, even though it's this like CRT screen. Um, try. Uh, it still has the same. It still has the same kind of distortion that you guys are seeing. So I don't know if that's just an artifact of the the SNES itself. Um, just kind of being so old, it's just kind of started to kind of distort the image a little bit. I am using some splitters 
to split the signal, so that might be a problem as well, kind of degrading the signal. But all in all, it's working okay. I've got that guy from downtown. But these like kind of aliens are gonna show up, and they're just, it's just kind of a pretty simple. All these games are you know are pretty basic. There's not much to kind of shoot some aliens back eventually. Kind of like a pretty space and something. Got this radar kind of in the middle of your screen that kind of shows you where they're going to be coming from. A little frustrating. It's actually really accurate, which is kind of fun. <laughs> oh no! Oh! I'm gonna have to figure out how to, I think I just need to be lower in order to hit. You know, I think that the infrared sensor kind of makes some assumptions about kind of where you're, where you're sitting. I think it expects you to kind of be low, a little bit lower than the screen maybe. But, uh, after the bottom. Or maybe I just suck. That's always a possibility. Ooh, so, so now they're behind some cover, it looks like. Kinda have to lead them. That guy's from downtown. Oh! Guy coming from my right. Hey. That's enough of this game, I think. Finish out this round. May die. Yeah, have, it on, have it on medium? Yeah, I'm on level 12, so why do me on medium? Go, this guy. Wait, back. Guy coming in from my left. Right. That's enough of that one. Give me an opportunity to just exit. Probably last year, yeah. I think it's just one of the three. Rounds and Yeah, and sorry, every time I reset this, it's gonna kinda screw up the video a little. Read the screen. I sit back up on the chair. My legs are killing me. Old man now. See if we can make this work while I'm up here. I don't know if it will. I have to go back to the or raise my TV cap. Nobody got time for that. All right, let's try Blastris. Got a mole patrol. Uh, let's try Blastris. That'd be the... Oh, it's two player. Dang. Like my level. Whoa. I don't know if this is anything like normal Tetris or what this is gonna be like. Shots, that may be the 
Okay, so I have two shots. Alright, I get this. Basically trying to... Just the block. Okay. Maybe I can sit back up. I didn't realize I only had two shots. Basically trying, I can adjust the blocks and then basically stack them like any other type. Exactly what I wanted to do. Ah! Oh, you can take out more than one. I'm just up here. Player. I can get a balloon throw. not want all those yellows. Okay, so I think I can actually drop... That's death. Uh, alright. I think it's because I'm kind of at the edge of my mic here and it's away from me a little bit. I'm not loud now. You guys can let <coughs> That was frustrating. I didn't only having two shots. About that. Steph, you can let me know if I, uh, mic is okay. Boosted the mic. If not, I can turn the game volume down. I didn't realize it was so loud, I guess. Listening to some recordings earlier, kind of testing it out. It sounded okay, but I also wasn't sitting on a chair with the mic kind of dangling. I just need a better mic, but what I have. Let's try... Intercept. Pretty boring. That one, they just have some missiles that kind of just fly across the screen. Um, so it's not really that exciting. You just kind of are shooting out of the sky and they kind of get faster and faster. Oh, I can't do the bottom of this I come in oh this was my missiles travel really slow Thank you. 
Okay. Not doing too bad. 13 enemies left, it looks like. Oh. You have kind of infinite ammo, but I think your score is dependent upon... Eh, depending upon how many shots you actually take. I'm at either almost out of ammo with that f that's yelling at me, or I'm out of time. I guess I was out of time. I don't know. Better now. Oh, thank you. That's that. And that's probably enough. There's not really much else to it. Um, that's pretty much the Super Scope 6 game. Um, you know, it's pretty basic. You saw there's kind of six games. There's the Mole Patrol. There's kind of those two versions of, of Tetris. Um, and then there's kind of all these intercepts where you're, where you're shooting down kind of different aliens or planes or something. Like I said, it doesn't have that, that fun kind of Nintendo spin like a lot of the other games do. I think Yoshi Safari has a lot more for it. More of like a rail shooter, which is a lot of fun. But I wanted to play this. I had it set up. We'll do some Yoshi Safari in the next couple days. Uh, that'll be a fun game to kind of live stream. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching Game Tangent, everyone. Uh, this is a community that we're trying to build uh, for gamers like myself who you know, love to talk about video games, love to play video games, but don't necessarily have a lot of people around them to play games with. So if you're interested in getting involved, then uh, you know follow us on Facebook and Twitter using the handle at GameTangent. Uh, you can also check us out on YouTube. Um, we don't exactly have uh, a nice URL yet because you need over 100 subscribers and we're not quite there yet. So. You know, check us out on YouTube. You can look us up by, you know, the handle Game Tangent as well. Uh, we got a lot of cool videos going on there. We're going to be doing kind of weekly, semi-weekly uh, episodes, kind of just discussing the news and the rumors kind of going on in uh, the gaming world, bringing on kind of guests, you know, members of the community to talk about what whatever their thoughts are. That's really what we want to give out. So anyways, check us out there. You know, make sure you subscribe so we can hit that 100 subscribers, get a cool URL. Um, and if you have any ideas for other things you want to see, other games, I have a whole huge collection of games going all the way back to the Atari 2600. I'll do some retro stuff, definitely playing, doing some other Let's, uh, let's Plays, playing a lot of Rocket League lately. We'll be doing some Let's Play, uh, we'll uh, be doing some streaming of Zelda, Breath of the Wild later this week. Super excited for that game. Um, and uh, that's it. Anyways, thanks for watching Game Tangent Retro. Uh, my name is Chris Enriquez, aka Hyper Neon. And we'll see you next time.